hi um so i'm just continuing with our um halloween journal and you may have seen the um the the photograph that i have as the um the thumbnail on the video that i uploaded um i don't know when it will be in relation to when i'm uploading this i think it is Wednesday today. I uploaded it Wednesday morning, so I'm thinking I'm going to upload this Wednesday evening or Thursday morning. But so either this morning or yesterday, um, with the first instalment of the, the this video series, um, the thumbnail probably looks different to this. I think this is kind of what I'm going to end up going for. Um, that just looked too much down the side. I just couldn't couldn't get over it. Um, it just bugged me. So I've gone with doily the the cool brown piece that I've got at the back. I have, I haven't stuck this down yet. I've just stuck on the cheesecloth at the back of here. Um, none of this is stuck down yet. So I've decided to go with a frame on one of the spooky dolls and the Curious Oddities um, little charm I'm going to somehow attach to there. One of the baseboard chips as well, I like. Um, and I thought that looked quite cool just as an extra sort of added layer. And then if I take these off, I've, I, this I sort of halved. Um, it's just a day reproduction piece of ephemera um and then obviously this so this i'm going to have sort of half part way around the back and part and fully at the front if you see so when i turn it we're going to have a chunk of that at the back as well um now this i have machine stitched on just to, to hold it in place and i'm going to slow stitch this piece first i've also i did a little bit of um dyeing of bits of pieces for, uh, let me zoom out slightly, for this little project. So I've dyed just some bits of ribbon and, and bits and bobs. I dyed some sari silk. I've gone with mixtures of um, vintage photo. Um, I've got more here. Um, so vintage photo ink stain, uh, the spray stain, the distress, um, old paper distress spray stain. I've got the, um, the do you say Mika, Mika? Mika stains. I've got the full Halloween collection. I've little tiny spritzes here, here and there. You might be able to see little glimpses of purple, but I didn't want it to be too vivid and bright. Um, I mean, as I say, I've got the whole lot. Um, what else was there? And the tombstone one, the empty tomb one. So, um, yes, yeah, so lots of bits of spritzing. So I've done some sari silk. I've done some lace ribbon. Uh, some vintage pieces as well in there. I've dyed some cheesecloth that I thought could be useful on some tags. And then I did, if I can just take it off the hanger, um, dye an old doily as well. And you can probably see there are some brighter bits on here, some bits of purple tones, um, both sides, bits of greens, um, some of the brighter orangey yellows. Um, just for some decoration that's all so um so that's where we are so we're going to slow stitch this on i'm going to use i think sort of i'm going to go for like a purpley thread i think or i might go for an orange and just do some purple stitching i might grab some bits and pieces of this yet i'm not i'm not completely decided and just maybe layer just a few little bits on just to to enhance it but i'll come back and and show you that so that's going to be my next sort of task I'm not going to do this on camera because it will be really boring and um yeah you're going to get bored so so that's kind of where we're at with oops, with the cover um we're going to do some i think some collage clusters um to turn into tags and and such so i've got lots of bits of pieces of ephemera i've cut out all the ephemera pieces from the um the digi kit that we bought uh that, that i downloaded um I've also got the bits of my own ephemera that I have. I don't have a great deal, as I said, so I've, I've cut some bits and pieces of that out as well. Um, and we're just going to collage and layer up some tags, um, as I mentioned yesterday. Oh, I also found these that I bought from someone at some point, and I thought they were quite cool to add in as well. So the the... Oh yeah, and some old photographs that I pulled out that I'm going to use. These bits and pieces I'm going to use in the journal and then I'm going to scan them first, print them, and then I'm going to put them in some little packs. Um, I did say I was going to put some Halloween packs together. I'm not going to do lots because I never, 
don't we don't do Halloween the same as you guys do in the States. Those Brits are, are boring. I wish we did because I really love Halloween. Um but I've got, what have I got of these? I've got five sets. So I'm going to put one set with the journal and I'm going to do four little packs in case anybody would like to purchase one. So I'm going to do some little collage kits as though, for those as well, at collage clusters um, and, and sort of turn those into um, some little packs. So that's kind of, that's the plan. I have dug out, I'm not going to get these back in now, am I? There we are. I have also dug out some other bits and pieces. Um, these I bought from a lady on Etsy. I can't, I can't remember the name. I will, I will find it and I will add it if I, if I remember. Um, but I'm so sorry. But I bought a set of these um, that I thought look would look quite cool. I've got some bits and pieces of ribbon. I found some old charms, some Halloweeny charms. These will look good on some tags, I think. I have lots of bits of lace. I've got some nice little cameos, some more charms, some little numbers. I've got some washi tapes. Most of it is Tim Holtz. The odd piece isn't, but also you can see um, most of it is Tim Holtz. But then there's some other little bits and pieces as well to, to do some embellishing, some net, more lace, little bits of trim. Sorry, silks, a bit of lace there. This is some proper vintagey pieces just to add to the clusters and that's some really old bits of lace there more charms some bats some cobwebs i think i've got some keys in there some pumpkins so we're gonna yeah we're gonna dig through do some um i think that was the size thought wasn't it we're gonna do some um clusters and um that will be our ephemera for the for the inner pages so um yeah looking forward to that so i'm going to go away and slow stitch um and then we're going to do some clusters um with the ephemera so i will be back right okay so we've done the um the slow stitching i've pulled out a variety of threads that are all sort of i think nice halloweeny colors and i'm going to keep these out because i think we're going to do some more stitching on bits and pieces throughout and i think they're all really good colours to sort of work with so I got a little bit carried away so I've used the dark green for the um the brown panel I don't know if you can see that and then I've just added a little piece of the dyed lace on the side on the back I've added just a little brown piece with some other green stitching and then just a little bit down here so what we're going to end up with is this which I still I'm not I haven't decided how I'm going to attach this yet but that's going to go there. We're going to have this little piece here with this a bit further down. Or much further down, in fact. Something like that. I think I said. <laughs> I think it's more like that. Um, with... A little thingy in the middle obviously i'm going to put something behind that to lift that because i don't know if you can tell in the camera it's quite um sunk in because this these obviously big chipboard pieces baseboard pieces and then the little girl i think is going to stand there and then my little charm at the bottom i had did stitch this as well just run this through the sewing machine and i'm considering something like that just as an extra bit possibly maybe not sure yeah so that's that so that's it so far um i'm going to i don't think i'm going to attach these bits yet because they're quite heavy when it comes to um binding obviously there's the inside cover to go in here yet but it's going to be quite flimsy um yeah so i'm not going to i'm not going to attach that yet but i am going to stitch the two covers together um and I'm going to put these in my bits basket along with all the embroidery floss that I think we're going to use. So just get rid of my sewing box. Absolutely rammed full. 
There we go. Just going to clear a little bit of space. And then I've got the back piece of this. And I'm really pleased that actually we're going to hide all that stitching. So we are going to be left with a bit of an edge at the top, which I think I'm going to trim down. I'm going to have a go at tearing. Hmm. Because it's just going to be a little bit too... Oops, much. So it's going to take some of that. Oh, no. It's going to take some of the, um, the font off, but such is life, I think. Oh, and it's not tearing. It's to do with the way that the threads sort of are threaded, I believe. Oh, steady, steady. Right. Yeah, one way is always easier to tear than the other. So that's my cover. That's the inside. When I line those up, they line up quite nicely now. So I'm going to chuck a couple of pins on this and I'm going to run a stitch all the way around the edge or probably a couple of stitches. Um, gosh, I'm going to try and keep it as straight as possible. You can tell I'm no seamstress because this is the bit that I really don't like doing because it always sort of bunches. If anyone's got any tips as to how to do this and stop your fabrics from bunching, please shout up because I'm terrible at them. In fact, I'm going to try and leave it like that. I'm going to just have a go as it is. So I've got my mountain of ephemera here as well, ready to do some collaging, which we'll do next right try and zoom out a little bit see if you can see what i'm doing kind of okay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around with a long straight stitch and then we might do a bit of cross stitch. Well, we will do a bit of cross stitching as well. So here goes. And if it goes wrong, it's only fabric. And we'll pretend that it was intentional. I'm going to have to move because I'm making a bit of a mess of this. So I can kind of, I can feel where edge of the bubble wrap as I say we're going to go around this a few times because I want to make sure I catch everything now just want to watch the bottom of the doily right okay so that's kind of our security stitch i'm gonna go a little bit higher there actually and then i'm gonna i want this to be sort of i honestly i want this to be messy <laughs> that sounds like such a get out clause but i do i want it to be sort of a bit all over the place so i'm going to stitch quite quickly around because it gives you sort of a natural wibbly line i find plus i'm running out of time today because we need to go <laughs> it's nearly school pick up time and i really wanted to get a start on some collages although they may end up waiting until the morning at this rate that that's going to stay down a little bit. I don't know what is in the way of my pedal here. 
everything sort of dropped underneath my desk and now I'm fighting with a box of bobbins, I think. There we go, that's better. I am going to put a few cross stitches in as well somewhere. So I'm going to have to neaten up these edges because I don't like this. I'm going to have to try and tear those down. But they're stitched well enough, so they should be all right. I'm going to run some cross-stitching down now. Just in various places. So you see, can you see for the shadow there? I'm going to do some at the top, I think. some at the on the back page do we think that that's enough so we've got some at the side got some at the top you can see for the light it's got a nice squidgy feel I do like that cool Right, we need to sort some of these trims out, I think. Even if it's a case that we snip it, if it won't tear, and then we can just sort of pull on the threads to, to rough them up a little bit. But let's have a go at tearing first. Where are you from, thread? I mean, I don't, do I mind it really? I mean, this bit's a bit much here, so we're definitely going to do something with this bit if we can, which I don't think we can. And this end needs, definitely needs sorting. See, I can even see a bit of the bubble wrap there, which annoys me a little bit. I might just run another stitch down there. Let me just give this a snip first. Right, so I'm just going to tear a little bit of that. I'm just going to run another stitch down here just to catch where you can see the, the packaging inside. Because whilst we all know it's made with packaging, we don't really want you to see it though. So just whiz around a few more times. What's caught there? What's that? That's annoying. Just do a little stitch there. So we just caught some. Can you see? We just caught some little tails there that I don't. I don't like that. Although they're just playing out. To be fair. Okay. 
Okay. Think we're good? Think we're good? Right. Let's stick that back. Turn the camera so you can see again. Yeah. Cool. So when it comes to binding um, the signature in, we're gonna we're gonna have less weight on the front to, to have to contend with, and then we can put all the bits and pieces on. So I think we'll leave it at that for now. Um, as I say, this piece I think I'm gonna hand stitch onto the bottom. Um, maybe with some more of this burgundy thread or something. I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna hand stitch that piece. But I'm really pleased with that so far. So next, um, just check the time. Oh yeah, we are out of time. So I'm gonna leave it there today um i'll continue to film this in the morning and then we'll post tomorrow afternoon and we will see some of the collagey cluster bits that we're, we're going to entertain um right okay thanks bye